Thanks, Marshall. Well, we have two big school bond referendums decided today in Clay County. First, let's go to Moorhead. Residents there are voting on a $110 million referendum that would pay to rebuild Moorhead High School and turn the Sands Club site into a career academy. These are architectural mock-ups of the proposal. That referendum would also pay to renovate the Sands Club building as a career academy, as I said. And officials say that the high school currently is over capacity and the student body is expected to continue growing. And let's take a look at the numbers for taxpayers. Homeowners would have to pay about $8 per month extra on a $200,000 home. No matter whether or not you think that is worth the cost, school officials in Moorhead say they will listen to voters. We're really excited because at the end of the day, this is a community decision. The community decides what they want to do. So whether you are in favor of this plan, whether you're not in favor of this plan, we just ask you to get out and vote. We really want to want this to be the will of the community and want to be able to serve our community well. Now, if the referendum passes, construction would likely wrap up by 2024. Polling sites are open now until 8 p.m. today in Moorhead. And for DGF, Emily has the details on that referendum now. Thanks, Adam. Voters in the DGF school district are making their own decision today on a $31.4 million referendum. And that money would go to help improve school security, make off-street and drop-off pickup areas for students, and it would expand both the elementary and middle and high schools. Uh, here's what that would cost for taxpayers. About $21.21 .21 per month on a $175,000 home. Now, this is not the first time they've tried to pass a bond referendum. KBRR's Chris Howard went to DGF schools to find out why school leaders think it's worth another shot. We just served about 900 kids in here with lunch, and if you look around through here, we have one serving line, and then this whole gym, this entire gym is full of tables. Making use of every available inch of space is something that Principal Heidi Critchley has come to terms with. She's the principal at the DGF Middle School, and the upcoming vote may help ease her mind. As a principal, that's the number one thing that I think about day in and day out is the safety and security of our students and staff. The 2019 facility bond, which residents of the school district will vote on tomorrow, will include provisions that provide new security systems, improve the entry and pickup locations, and bring learning environments up to 21st century standards. I see this as being something that it doesn't matter if, if people live in Glendon, Dilworth, or, or Felton, or in the rural part of the school district. If you live in the district, your children are going to get the benefits uh, of, of this plan. The vote has been proposed before. In 2015, the $31 million bond failed, only garnering support from 18% of voters. It forced the school district to take a hard look at the plan they were proposing. The school district says that the new plan is maximizing on the economic investments that have already been made on the school and focusing on reducing the tax burden of residents. We've had uh, over 20-some public uh, meetings uh, showcasing what the plan is, getting feedback. Um, we've had very positive uh, feedback from the public. The plan calls for a reorganization of how the schools are structured, and the DGF Middle School and the Glendon Felton Elementary School would switch locations. The opportunities for our students with the middle school going to the current Glendon Felton Elementary site, we would be able to work more with the high school and offer opportunities for our students in the STEAM activities and a lot of other collaboration we'll be able to do with the high school. If the referendum passes, the changes could be in place by fall of 2021. Chris Howard, KBRR Local News.